I want to talk about factoring polynomials or factoring trinomials, which might be the homework you have right now or you're studying, studying for a test and it's not clear. And I don't blame you. I, th I think that this is a confusing thing to call what I like to call unfoiling. I mean, instead of foiling, you know, first, outside, inside, last, uh, gives you some trinomial, we're going the opposite direction. And let me show you how, how we do it. I mean, let's say we are given uh, x squared plus 8x plus 15. Now the answer we're looking for is going to be a set, of, a set of two parentheses with an x in front of each of them, but we've got to search for the numbers that are missing from each of those parentheses. And the way we do that is I want you to focus on two numbers here. We've got the positive 8 and the positive 15. And we've got to ask, what two numbers multiply to positive 15 and add to positive 8? So what two numbers multiply to positive 15? There's actually a, it's actually a few different uh, combinations. We could have like positive 15 and positive 1. They multiply to positive 15. Uh, negative 15 and negative 1. Uh, positive 3 and positive 5. Negative 3 and negative 5. All this whole set multiplies to, uh, uh, to positive 15. But only one adds to positive 8. Which one do you think it is? positive 3 and positive 5. They add to positive 8 and they multiply to positive 15. Those are the guys we're looking for. So those are the two that fill into the parentheses. I mean put them in any order so we can put the 3 there and the 5 there and we're done. We factored the polynomial or the trinomial by unfoiling and our final answer is x plus 3 and x plus 5.